Hey y'all, welcome back to the Cult Juice channel. I'm so, so glad that you're here today. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're going to get into some things today. Um, today, we're going to be discussing Normani. Um, Normani has recently just been teasing and gearing up for this new era of her new album called Dopamine. And everybody's excited. Well, some people are excited, but most people are just left confused and wondering what the F is really going on here, okay? Now, back about a couple months ago, Normani has went on social media and she had teased her um, new album. She has says, guys, I have a new album name. And then she then posted a screenshot of her own account, okay, um, on a fake fan page or whatever. And child, that was a whole drama story within itself. So I'm not even going to get into that much. But she basically came back and said, I have an album name. And the name of the album is Dopamine. Okay, and you know, we got an album cover the same day. But one thing we didn't get was an album release date. So everybody's like, okay, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. But everyone is confused as to, all right, where is the album date? When is it coming out? What is going on here? It just kind of felt like she just announced it. And Romani has a history and a pattern of you know announcing things and then they never come out you know but as you all may or may not know but normani probably has been you know having that pattern of behavior simply due to her personal um family you know her family both of her parents have got cancer so you know she's currently going through things behind the scenes that we don't know about so that's why a part of me does have a lot of compassion for her i have a lot of compassion for her personally but for her career not so much and I say that because I completely understand how it is to have to deal with things that are completely out of your control and you are just completely just out of control of her parents getting cancer. I mean, like, I don't think she would want that. I'm sure she wouldn't want that at all. But, you know, the way her career is panning out to be, it just feels very like there's no direction for her. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, OK, she releases an album cover and an album name, but there is no release date. So we're all sitting around wondering what the fuck is going on? And as you all know, Normani had, listen, y'all, by the time the album cover came out, it has made six years, I believe, since she has been saying that she's dropping a new album. Okay, well, actually, no, this is not her new album. This is her very own solo debut album. Okay, now, mind you, Normani was in Fifth Harmony years ago, years ago, okay? And she is just now dropping her solo debut album. Now, Normani has gone through so much, so I'm pretty sure the album is going to be pretty good. You know, I'm not worried about that, but hey. Okay, so we have an album cover and an album title. And then two weeks later, or a week and a half later, we then get word that Normani is dropping a new song called 159 featuring Gunna. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. But even then, the song... We didn't really like know, you know, what's going on with the song. You know, Normani did post a, a snippet on TikTok about the song. But other than that, the promo wasn't really there. You know, typically with, with your comeback single, you have billboards in Times Square. You have different, you know, streaming platforms giving you playlisting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Normani dropped the song in crickets. OK, so you go from dropping an album announcement with no date and no lead single announcement on the same day of the album announcement weird okay the song comes out and when i tell you it's crickets i mean literally crickets now the song to me it's not bad or it's not good it's just there you know the song just it's just there i can't say it's the worst song i've ever heard because it's not it's not the worst song i've ever heard it's just it's just boring it's just very very boring and if you are unless you are a normani normani fan you are gonna love this song and with that being said she doesn't have a lot of normani normani fans because a lot of people still don't know her because she's been gone for so long and she drops a single, come back two years later, drops another single. And then, you know, it's just, it's hard for her to keep a fan base. So that very, 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 very small fan base and small demographic that she does have. Yeah. Um, they may like this song a lot, but when this 159 song came out, I'm trying to figure out what was the direction for it? I don't mean like there's, there's no music video. There is no, you know, promotional for it. It's just, it just kind of seems like a song that's just there. It's just there, you know, it's like, I don't hate it or love it. It's just, the song is just there. Now, I'm pretty sure, listen, I understand my opinion is not everybody else's opinion. So I understand that. And I'm really, really, really aware of that. So if you do love the song, comment down below. But I'm sorry, but that song is boring as hell. Boring as fuck, actually, okay? So the song comes out with no music video. And that was honestly a bad move, too. You can't come back from a big, 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 big hiatus and you have no music video along with your song. And I would have thought that Normani's team would know that since Fair flopped as well. Yes, Fair, her last song dropped in 2022. Her last single 
it didn't have a music video. It just had like a late night show performance clip on YouTube. And I'm like, where is the music video at? It's like the team, they have amnesia. Like, they, like their brains are just non-existent for her. You know, I don't know. And Normani is a perfectionist. So I feel like maybe the music video was filmed, was produced, and maybe she hated it. But it's just like, what is going on here? Late album announcement dates, trashy comeback singles with no proper budget or promotion, with no music video to back up the single's performance. And then we also get word that the album is coming out in June, which is fine. But if you're going to have the album coming out in June, we need to have some type of activity going on until then. There's no real buzz activity or anything to get Normani's name out in the streets until June. I'm pretty sure by June, people people's interests are going to be gone. You know what I'm saying? Now, that is definitely excluding the diehard Normani fans. I, I'm pretty sure the diehard Normani fans are going to be there regardless. They don't. I'm pretty sure if Normani released the album in 2089, the Normani fans will be sitting there saying, oh, I waited all my life for this song. Oh, play it now, play it now. All old and shit playing Normani music. Baby girl, you almost in the grave. You listen to Normani? You know, that's just how long she takes to release projects. So I'm not saying that it's bad, but if Normani does, listen, I'm all here for her taking as much time as she needs. She's been going through things personally behind the scenes and I'm completely aware of that. I'm not trying to act like I don't see that or hear that. I'm completely aware of that. But I hope that this album can actually live up to the expectation that it has for it taking so long. I hope that it really, really, really eats it up. Now, I wanna go ahead and get into this album a little bit. There's a song on here called Candy Paint. And Candy Paint has been going around on social media. She did do a campaign with the Bose um, audio company uh, a few months back before she teased the song on TikTok. And the song sounded good in the Bose campaign. You know, the Bose speakers, you know, y'all know Bose. Yeah, she did a musical campaign with them and she was dancing to it. I mean, she was tearing it up. She was tearing it up. The song is good. And this has me thinking, why didn't she release Candy Paint as the lead single? You know, I'm just sitting here confused like, baby girl, what's going on in your label's head? Or is it you? You know, I don't know what, what's going on. Uh, you know, I feel like at this point in time, maybe I think she may need to just drop the album. You know, I feel like for Normani, what would have benefited her would be a surprise drop. You know, I know that may sound like, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? But a surprise drop would have made more noise at this point of the game than how the rollout was going now. Because right now it's going terrible. A surprise drop, the element of surprise of it all would have had everybody gagging and shocked. Like, oh my gosh, the album's out now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then she dropped a music video that same night or the next week, you know, just to kind of, you know, pinpoint a lead single. Uh, but it seems like the lead single that is off of the album right now, Dopamine 159, I'm guessing it's the lead single, or maybe it could potentially just be a promotional single, which I am helping. I'm hoping that it's a promotional single and not a lead single, but allegedly they're treating it like a lead single. So we're going to go with that. But as of right now, it just feels like a disconnect between the rollout and the fans. It just feels like the rollout is not really quite landing in terms of you know, the music videos, the tactics, the social media games, and, you know, everything is not really sticking. Nothing's sticking right now. And we live in a day and age in society and music where even when Normani dropped Motivation to when Normani's about to drop her new album, the industry has changed so much. Like, within those years of her dropping Motivation and, you know, when her album's about to come out, it's not the same anymore. It's just not. So, you know, she's she's going to have to come back and adjust to the industry when she never really adjusted in the first place. So she's going to be continuing to try to like, you know, catch the wave and catch the wave. But it's going to be a lot for her because she is going through a lot behind the scenes as well. So I think her best bet would just be to drop the album, you know, just drop the album and just go, you know, drop the music videos, drop the album, and just drop the music and go. Normani doesn't really have any real like right to do like a you know oh i'm gonna tease this tease that baby we've been waiting over eight years for you so you know you teasing things is almost like it's like teasing old milk it's, you know it's already old and spoiled we don't want that shit anymore you know what i'm saying so it's like just drop it let it out let the art speak for itself you're talented and you know you got this you got this for sure you can dance you can sing and you just you got it all you have it all so yes y'all let's discuss down below how do you feel about this rollout? How do you feel about the album Dopamine? It isn't out yet, so I can't judge too much on the album itself because it obviously is not out. 
But yes, let's discuss down below. And I appreciate you so much for watching to the end. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.